Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will explain how we can use a lock statement in C Sharp. And this is useful when we want to synchronize access to a protected resource, which, we try, uh, which means that only one thread or task can access a resource. So you don't have, for example, in a multi-threaded program where you can have several threads, you don't want several threads ac accessing some part of the resource at the same time. Uh, in my previous tutorial, I showed you how you can accomplish this uh, with the help of mutex. Now I will show you how you can do that with a lock statement. <coughs> So let's begin. Uh, we create a for loop here uh, and we do 10 iterations. In the for loop, in, the t in those 10 iterations, we will create a task. Uh, and this task should open a file. It should read a file. Or no, I mean it should write to a file. Let's do that. So it should do write or append, append all text to a file in the path. Let's do like this. So it should append some text to a file called test uh, and it should append YouTube to the file. And then we're going to sleep for one second. And after that, we want to append something more again. We want to append YouTube too. So when we do this, we're going to open the file, append this to the file, and after that we're going to sleep for one second, and then we're going to append YouTube 2 to this file. However, while we do this task, the iteration will continue to the next iteration, and it will create a task that does the same, and start it also. So let's see if this creates any sort of problems. So read key so the project doesn't stop. So we can see that we have a, uh, an error here. The process cannot access the file because, because it is being used by another process. And if we go to the file and open the file, we can see that it has added, added YouTube. So it works to open the file and append text to the file. So what happens here is that that the first task opens the file and append uh, text to the file and then it sleeps for one second. And the next task in the iteration will also start while the first task is sleeping. So the next task will come here, let's close this one, will come here and try to append text to the file. However, while this second task is trying to append text to the file. The first task is here now and trying also to append text to the file. So what happens is that we have two tasks trying to open the same file. And this is not possible because one file can only be opened by one stream. So now we have two streams trying to open the same file. So what we have to do to solve this is to use a lock. And one of the options for a lock is called, uh, create something called private static read only the type of object, and we can call it padlock. You can call you can call it whatever you want, and it's a new object. So now we have an object uh, that that is of type object here with a variable name padlock. So when we are here. What we want to do is that we want to lock that only one ta task can do this operation. So if I add a lock here and I add, add this variable as an argument here and surround the operations inside the lock, what will happen now is that when one task is being created, it will come here and it will check, is this lock locked? If not, I will enter here, and while I enter here, I will lock the lock. So when I enter here, I will write to the file, and I will sleep, and then I will write to the file. Meanwhile, the second task is being created because of this iteration here. So when the second task is being created, it will come here and see, 
Is this locked locked? If yes, I will wait here until it is unlocked. So the first task will append all text to the file and when it comes here, it will unlock the lock and uh, exit the operation. When it exits the operation and unlock the lock, the first, uh, the second task that was waiting here will see that the lock is unlocked. So it will enter here and lock the lock. So let's see if this works. And now we can see that we do not have any crash. And if we check the file, we can see that it appended YouTube, 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 YouTube. So it has been appending to the file and everything seems to work. And that is how you can use a lock. That you lock some part of the code that only one task or thread can execute that part of the uh, code. Thank you for watching and in my next tutorial I will explain to you why I showed you what mutex was and why I showed you the other lock statement called lock in this tutorial. So see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.